When I was reading through Lawrence Arabia's diaries, there's one ingredient that kept on cropping up, and it's an ingredient that he seems to have enjoyed more than any other. So I've come to Fez in Morocco, and although this isn't where Lawrence Arabia was actually based, it is where this particular ingredient has been highly prized for many years. Very strong tradition of cooking with this, many different ways. And that ingredient is camel. The Medina in Fez has been unchanged for hundreds of years. Hidden away in this maze of alleys, many strange foods can be found, including a dazzling array of spices, cooked hedgehogs and boiled sheep's heads. I'm, however, on the trail of something a little bit bigger, and with my guide Eunice have come to the local camel butchers. I guess this is a camel yes, store, then. This is the only shop you can find you know, here in the Medina. Oh, look at this, you know, camel head, right, very nice. Giveaway. He killed it just, you know, this morning. And, and so maybe you can just talk us through the different, different parts. I mean, I yeah. guess. This is, is it a, a tile. This is a tile, yeah. Is it cooked like beef? Do they have camel steaks? Do they have... No. You can make it as a mince meat. So it's normally minced? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mince OK, meat. so you don't normally cook camel steaks? No, it's hard, you know. Is and it because it's too tough? Too tough, you know, that's what. This is the most important part. What's this? You know, this is the ham. The hump? Yeah, the hump. I'm fascinated with this camel hump. <laughs> yeah. So this is, this is a part of the hump. It, it looks, feels and smells just like marabone, beef marabone. In cooking, how is it used? We can, you know, cook it like a tangier. Not a tangier, tangier. So it comes from the word Tangia. From the place? Yeah, from, no, yeah of course yeah, from yeah. the place. And you just know, checking. and camel's meat can spend like 12 or 13 hours just to be cooked. So can we, can we make a Tangier today? Yes, we, can, we are going to do that. Ah, good. Yeah. OK. I want to make my very own Tangier stew to better allow me to understand the types of tastes and flavours Lawrence of Arabia himself would have had. Right, so, so, so this, this, is, this is the pot. Now, apparently, this is a very male dish, the tangier. Basically, because you just get a pot and you just bung stuff in and you stick it in the oven. We've got some hump. Yeah, hump. Camel tail. Camel tail. Which actually looks like a lighter-coloured, smaller oxtail, basically. And then shin. Shin. 